All right guys, so today is the big day. Summer vacation has officially started. I won't tell you guys just yet where I am headed to, but as you can see, I am all packed and ready to go. So I just have to go and meet Kendrick and then we will be off. Oh my gosh, I am so excited and I plan to vlog throughout this whole trip. So we're just gonna take you guys every step of the way and it's gonna be an awesome time. <music> Oh man, okay. It's kind of loud out here right now. Oh, where's my light? Where's my light? Okay, right here. <laughs> All right, so first stop on the list is to pick up our car, which is super exciting because just driving in Korea is a first for both of us. So it's gonna be so nice to have the freedom of getting a car and just going wherever we want for this vacation. Um, so that's where we are now. We're about to pick up our car from the Latte Rent-A-Car. But it was super easy to reserve it online. You really just needed to put in your information and driving info, and then if you have an international driving permit, you can also rent a car super easily in Korea too. And we'll have a car <laughs> Let's go. Um, <laughs> this is really confusing. <laughs> Uh, what is a car? Lotte rent a rent yeah, car? Oh. Oh, come Thank you. Thank you. Alright. We finally found the place. You excited for this car? We're just really excited to be driving, to be honest. Like, we've taken public transportation so long here, which is. Super convenient, don't get me wrong, but just having a car will just be a whole different experience exploring Korea. So we're both really excited. Yeah. All right, so we paid for the car, we did all the paperwork, now we are just waiting, I guess, to get our keys. We're not really exactly sure how this whole process works, but yeah, we're just we're just going for full right now. Oh, inspection of the car. So I guess now we're going to the car to go inspect it, see that everything's cool, we're ready to go, ready to take it out for our little road trip we're going on. All right, so we're finally in our car. Oh yeah. He's really excited to be driving right now. But we're actually just on the way back to his apartment for right now. now. Turn left <laughs> and then turn left. Just because um, it's raining in a lot of the places we want to go to for our trip. So we're kind of doing things a little differently, taking it as we go, and we're just gonna go to places that, I guess, have good weather. Cause it's just typhoon season in Korea right now. So our options are pretty limited. And this first place that we're going, um, we don't think we can spend a whole day there. So we're not gonna leave till a little later. <laughs> uh, yeah, this should be interesting. This is gonna be so weird and so fun. I'm happy too. This is gonna be a great trip. We have so much space to put all our stuff in. Yeah, it's not exactly the car we wanted, but it's gonna work for us. Car. Yeah, it's a car. <laughs> right? It's just like the fact that we're about to be driving in Korea, just go where we wanna go, go when we wanna go. We haven't had this since Vietnam. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And Vietnam, it was a scooter. But still, we were free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll talk to you guys later, back when we actually get on the road. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, how about to say? So we are, oh no, it's too close. Is that, is it? All right, so we are finally on the road. I forgot the aux cord. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, anyway, we are finally ready to leave. We seriously picked this car up at like 
8.30 this morning and we're not leaving till about 4 o'clock. Um, just because it's been a super cloudy day and the place we want to go to, there's only like a few sites we want to go to and it's the only place out of like the 7 or 8 we're going to on this road trip that actually has some decent weather. So we decided to leave a little later. Um, but we're really excited to finally get out on the road! Hell yeah! Hey. Hell yeah! Let's go! same side of the road as America but it's a little bit of a struggle first of all we missed a toll we didn't know which lane the actual toll booth was in so we drive right past that what was our second one the lines on the road the paint markings on the road are a little <laughs> bit different yeah so I think we've driven off the road a couple times already <laughs> without even knowing it <laughs> we have one more they can't drive they can't drive cut it off cut it off <laughs> We gonna do it right this time, y'all. We got it. We got it. I gotta find change, baby. Oh, oh. We got a little change first. This is my first. This is my first. I only got like a few one hundreds though. Oh my gosh. I got two. Here's another hundred. I got three hundred. Seven, give me the three hundred. Mm. Alright. Is that? I need four? a dollar. You need a dollar. I have. I got a fifth. No, I think I got a dollar. A speed bump is ahead. Where is? I'm gonna say, oh, that's ticket. Ticket. Oh, I think we ran it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no ticket. <laughs> what's your song? I don't know what's happening. Ticket. Oh, that took me a ticket. All right. Just say hi. <laughs> yeah, I think we got penalized for going through that first toll booth. No, we didn't get penalized. We didn't get penalized with the booth. She just told me to pay. So did we no pay penalty. more? It wasn't no penalty fee. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So we just had to pay more, like the yeah. one we missed. The one we missed. That's all we had to pay. That makes sense. That makes sense. What's the ticket for then? That's my receipt. Oh. See? Oh, okay. Yeah. You thought she meant a uh, ticket, as an American ticket. Yeah, like. Like, get your bad car. Thing. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay, we good then. We almost to our destination. I remember where I'm at now. This looks familiar. No, but we we are in Gyeongju now. So this is our first stop on our road trip. Um, Gyeongju is a pretty historical city in South Korea. And it's actually really close to Daegu. So it only took us about an hour to get here. So our first stop is the Tome Park, which has a bunch of really cool burial tomes with like kings and queens and other people kind of buried within them. So it should be kind of cool to walk around. It was a pretty smooth drive up here. I would say we were kind of talking and saying how it's a lot like driving in the U.S. You know, it just really felt familiar now, to us. But there are definitely some differences. Like, like I mentioned before, we definitely missed the toll booth on the first one. The lines in the lanes were a little hard to follow. But other than that, it was a really cool drive. Like there were a bunch of hills and mountains. It's just really great having our own car right now because we would have been waiting for trains. In 500 meters, speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. Waiting for buses, you know, having to walk to places with all our stuff. So having a car is definitely worth it. It's
anywhere ever. Right? I know, it really is, huh? <laughs> you quit the bus? You quit the bus? Is that a ticket booth? Is this the entrance? Yeah, I think this is the entrance to the two part. We made it to Gyeongju! I'm so excited. First stop on the road trip. So I've been here once before. Um, but like I've never been here. four years ago. Okay. Alright. Let me get the tickets first. Uh Duge? Yeah. So there's a famous part of this park where you can get a pretty cool picture. So that's where we're headed right now. He's walking faster than I am so we can get in line because there is a line to get this picture. Um, but it's just really cool because the hills, there's like one on each side, one on the back, and then a perfect tree in the middle that kind of frames it. So that's where we kind of want to head. But it seems to be back there. So we have to walk all the way around to get it. Oh, he made it there already. He's saving a spot in line for us. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this picture though. So leaving the park now. Had a nice little walk around the park. Now, going to find him a vacation hat. Okay, which, which hat? So which, which type are you looking for? It don't matter. Let's try that one. Yeah, let's try that one. Oh my, yo. Yuk chan. Oh, how chan. Is there a mirror at? Is there a mirror? I was like, goddamn, crocodile Oh, thank you. Oh, I kind of like this one, though, babe. I hate it in front. It does suit you more than some of the other ones you've tried on. I think so. You find me Pharrell in that hat. It's a little big. It's a little oversized, you know? It ain't oversized. You want me to try this? Hmm. Let me try that. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. This one fit better, but I don't like this color though. It would match your thing better. What? Your outfit? I thought my outfit was better for that one. This yeah. Over, huh? Oh, that's true. That's like in the trees. Yeah. You like this one better? No, I don't. Yeah, the, that color suits you more. Yeah, that color. This one. The brown one. Is that is that all the brown ones they got? Oh, they got a little adjustable band. Oh, maybe that is the hat then. Oh, that on backwards. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you do. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> got two dollars. two dollars. Okay, you really gotta wear your outfit now. When? For each picture at each place? Oh, oh come Samida. If you're trying to catch on here, he bought a special outfit just for vacation. And his idea was to literally wear this same outfit for each picture, like prime picture he takes on this trip. Now he's chickening out on me because, yes you are, yes you are. See, he bought a hat and everything to go with this outfit. Oh, It's a really good outfit too, like it suits his skin tone, it's great. I think he should do it. Do you need me to hold your camera? No. Are the windows in it? Yeah. Are you gonna change? Alright, you guys ready for the big reveal? Who is this? Who is this? 
Hey. <laughs> he looks so happy. <laughs> he likes his outfit. Don't let his face fool you. All right, so now we're heading over to our next photo spot in Gyeongju. So you see behind me, there's a super old structure. I think one of the oldest in Korea, but don't quote me on that. But I know it's a huge tourist site here in Gyeongju to come see. Um, I think it's, it's called Chomsomde. So that's why you see so many people behind me. But the real reason I kind of came over here, not for the old buildings, um, was for you can see it, this flower field behind me. This is the orange patch behind me, which is kind of why, why I wore my orange dress today. So he's already ahead of me, going to go take some pictures. It's also why I made him put on his outfit, um, so we can get some vacay pictures going. So I'm super excited. Uh, the flowers look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Guys, he didn't like his outfit. He didn't like taking pictures in his I outfit. I look like an overseer. No, no, <laughs> tell him he does not. <laughs> he didn't like his outfit because it felt like he put on the outfit. Get to work. To take pictures, which he kind of did, but I. Master Jim then told y'all get to work now. <laughs> and that's tough. Don't get. That's terrible. <laughs> don't get now. I don't think he's gonna take any more pictures in his outfit. But we tried. It was, it was a nice picture. I thought it was a nice picture, but it's okay. The flowers were beautiful though, and my orange dress matched, so I was happy. So we still got a lot of time until night falls where we're gonna get a couple more shots here in Gyeongju before we head to our next destination. Um, so we're just gonna chill back, probably just chill in the car to be honest. Um, or if there's anywhere else to kind of explore around here, we might do that. But we'll keep you guys updated as we go along, all right? Finally at the hotel. I am so tired. It's only really only about 11:21 right now, but I think because we kind of woke up early, um, and then we did some drive-in later in the day. But we ended up going to see Wolji Pond, which is a famous kind of I think royal pond in Gyeongju. Um, didn't prove to be that. Fantastic. I think just because there were so many people, we didn't know it would be so popular during that time. So we only stayed for like 30 minutes and then we headed to Ulsan, which is our next stop on our road trip, and that's where we are currently. So we are in our hotel. Um, gonna take a shower. This is what he's doing right now. And we're gonna pass out for the night because we have an early morning ahead of us where we're going to go see a beautiful park by the ocean at sunrise. So I'm excited for that, um, but I need all the rest I can get. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>